Tell me what's working, apart from you. <laughs> we haven't had correct working ovens. We don't have the correct stoves. You know, how can we produce really great food if we don't have really great ovens? Come with me. Let's get in the kitchen. Let's get to work. But Chef Ramsay has already implemented drastic change in the kitchen. Six ring burner, an amazing convection oven from South Bend. Incredible. Oh, a six burner stove, Tyrone. Unbelievable. I've had it done, especially for your baking as well. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. I'm bursting at the seams. Just, I, I just can't believe it. Oh, man, this is awesome. John Ferruccio, President of South Bend, and today I'd like to talk to you about the Truvection ovens that we have. Truvection has now sold its thousandth oven into the marketplace, and I want to thank Celine for throwing us this great cruise and party here to celebrate. But seriously, Truvection has been a product that has solved a lot of problems for a lot of people. It's very versatile, but rather than me tell you about all the versatility and why we created it and what it's being used for, I'd like to let the people that are actually using the True Vection oven in their jobs and designs for their customer to explain it to you. So without further ado, let's hear it. Good morning. My name is Brian Moorhead. I'm the Vice President of National Chain Accounts at Singer Equipment Company. I've been with Singer Equipment Company for now 10 years. Today we're sitting here, we're, we're talking about the True Vection convection oven from South Bend and its applications in uh, the food service business in the, in the chain world. There are a couple applications that I see the Truvection in as being a wonderful advancement and innovative piece in the food service business. Um, simply put, the Truvection has allowed the, the standard convection oven based ovens to move forward uh, to an area where they haven't been before. It, it simply put, there are some simple features of the, of the true convection oven and, and the old convection oven bases. Uh, the, the old convection oven bases were not meant to be gone in and out of multiple times during an hour. We've had national chain customers calling, um, complaining that their switches were going in their ovens. Um, upon digging in a little deeper, we're realizing that these chains are going in and out of these ovens 15, 20 times an hour, cooking flatbread pizzas, and, and different products that are in and out that are on their appetizer menu. What would then happen would be that you know, the ovens are, were not manufactured to be gone in and out of that many times, so they would get substantial service bills for just changing switches out um, on, the, on the basis of the convection oven from going in and out of them multiple times during an hour. These bills were ranging anywhere from $250 to $400, and were going multiple times in a year. So when you add it up, uh, after a year, you're talking about up to potentially $1,000 a year in service bills from just something as simple as changing the way, the accessibility uh, of, of the convection oven. Better heat distribution and better product coming out of the convection oven based on the fact that it's actually a true convection oven. It's a great product. It, it has wonderful applications. Um, I think it's an innovative product in the food service business, obviously. Food service business does not change dramatically. I see this as being in the same role as the, the combi oven when it first came to America. I think that the true vection really has a future in the food service business, and as more of your customers get involved in utilizing it, they're gonna realize the same benefits that some of our national chain clients have seen so far. Good morning or good afternoon. I'm Brian Maloney. I'm the Vice President of Trimark Guild Group, the Contract Sales Division. I also run the Florida branch. And of course, we're down here in Tampa Bay Buck Territory. Uh, I am here today to tell you about True Vection Convection Ovens from South Bend. We have a client called Hyatt Select Hotels that we've been doing all of the Hyatt Place Hotels for for a number of years. You've seen them popping up all over the country, whether you're a Niners fan or a Jets fan or a, a Steelers fan or, dare I say, even a, a, one of the other guys that I play in my division, a Panthers fan. Anyway, we had this opportunity to develop a menu for a new concept 
and bring the proper equipment to the table to make this concept work. The Hyatt House Hotel concept is a 104 room prototype that will grow to have some hotels that will own 140, 150, even 160 rooms. I was given a very limited footprint to work with in, in the kitchen, but had to bring the equipment in to cover not only an extensive buffet offering, but also a 24-7 menu. So, so it, the challenge we had was how to accomplish the growth from 104 rooms to, to 150 plus rooms and still be able to pull off all of the menu offerings that they needed. And the True Vection Oven it, it, it hit the touchdown for us. When we all huddled together and talked about what pieces of equipment to use, the cavity size of the True Vection and the 50,000 BTUs that, that are inside that cavity that is equal to the same BTUs as a full-size convection oven. I can fit five sheet pans if I'm using a, a, a thinner product, a cookie or a bacon. I can fit three full-size sheet pans if I'm using a, a product that takes up more space on that sheet pan. So the, the, the proteins, the baked goods, the fats, everything we needed to cook fit into this convection oven. With the recovery time of the 50,000 BTUs, it, it, was, it was the perfect unit to accomplish what we needed to accomplish. And, and because we also had to have a steamer on, in, in this kitchen and the footprint that, that, that we had to work with, I could put the true vection oven and mount the steamer on top and then in the larger units add a second true vection oven and still have the steamer at the working height we needed. So, incredible flexibility that it, that, it, that it brought to our team and allowed us to be able to accomplish and hit, and, and hit the home run that, that Hyatt needed to take care of all of their menu offerings and allow for growth in the future with their menu too. So all in all, we're, we're very, very pleased that we found the True Vection Oven, that we introduced it to the program, and we feel we scored a touchdown with it, and you can too. Hi, I'm Nick Konkopoulos from Alpha Restaurant Equipment and Supplies out of Worcester, Massachusetts. And I'm here to tell you about a common problem that we all run into out in the field. Uh, I had a customer in Rosendale, Mass, Sophia's Grotto. I uh, had a hood, wanted to add a convection oven, full-size convection oven. Didn't have enough room under the hood. Had an existing 36-inch chop oiler with a regular equipment stand underneath. And uh, we took out the equipment stand, added the South Bend True Vection oven under it, put the existing char broiler back on top, and ended up uh, resolving the customer's issue without adding any astronomical costs to the situation. Amongst the very versatile ways that you've seen the True Vection oven now explained to you and used by the people that have designed it in, Brian, Brian, Nick, what I'd like to show and share with you too is a little bit of a finishing test and show you exactly how good of a finishing oven it is. And one of the real reasons the True Vection was designed was because people were sick of convection ovens in ranges on lines. They just didn't finish well, uh, they were inconsistent. And that's one of the things True Vection really answered in the industry is consistency and performance of finish. So, I'd like to show you a little test that we conducted and see what you think. To do a quick test with some with bread and toast to see what the finish after a minute is on each, each unit and how it could. Um, just to give you a quick idea of the finish, it can be even a short amount of time. It's only going to take about a minute to do this on the toast. So they have to be quick. The beauty of this is you can check it because you have a lot. That makes it really nice when you're cooking. One. The true action after a minute, uh, 12 pieces of toast, pull them out, and as you can see, they're, they're, it's a really nice finish on all of them. They, the pattern is really consistent between item between piece to piece, and so it's a nice, even, tight bake on that. You see, the closer in the back where it's the hottest, the 
because there's no circulation like on the convection, uh, the convection oven. The pieces of toast in the front are not quite, they're a nice texture, but they're not quite as textured as the ones, toned as the ones in the back. So indicating that the ones in the back were definitely a little bit hotter than the, the front row themselves. Because of the popularity of Truvection, we've actually now just put in its own production line. Truvection is probably made here in the United States at the South Bend Manufacturing Facility in Fuquay Arena, North Carolina. When one of our industry partners had a problem and added bacon to their menu and couldn't keep up with the production, they came to us putting a powerful cooking oven underneath the specific griddle we designed for them. They now were able to double the capacity in the same footprint from what they were using prior. So now you've heard of several different ways that people have used Truvection in the field and how they've solved their customers' problems with it. So whether you're solving a problem for a customer like Wendy's and custom designing a piece and using it that way, or how Brian's decided to use it for his customer and you know, giving them a piece of equipment that allows them to expand their business in the same footprint, whether you're using it on a cooking line and something more powerful for finishing, or whether you're putting it under a steak broiler and really dynamically changing your menu. True Vection is an awesome, awesome solution for anything you can dream to use it for. So the only question left to know is, how are you going to use it?